Okay, so as you can see, I've already pulled the panel off the uh, off the generator. Um, it's really not too bad. Uh, you got to remove the the wheels on this side, and then uh, there's like six screws that hold the the panel on. And then it just comes right off, but it has the uh, um, the pull cord still attached. So I just pulled it out a little bit and then set it up on top. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is to attach the uh, the leads to the battery and then you'll notice you got your plugs so your your plugs are going to go with these and you're going to thread them down through here into the compartment for the battery give us as much weight as we can. It looks like I'll have to uh, lengthen them a little bit on uh, the production kit. Alright, so, oh, of course I got the wrong size wrench. Yeah, that's pretty short. So it's going to be a, a tough one. For me, anyway. You guys won't have this problem. Do the negative. So we're going to take our leads here, Whoop. bring this up to the center. Alright, so that's going to be like so. Alright, so now we're going to use, now you notice that these two holes right here, them are, them are pre-existing. So um, we're going to take advantage of those and use those to install our, our controller. And I do supply you with the bolts for this.
It was a little tough getting your fingers in there. There we go. You're good and tight. Okay, now this lead here, we're going to route down along here, and then, okay, on my wiring harness, I did have to improvise with a, a spade, um, but I have since ordered these barrel um, terminals, so basically what you'll do is uh, you'll just separate them and then uh, tap into ours, so that's basically what I'm doing here, and what this is is the oil shut off. Actually, I'm going to feed this in around here. So basically, we're going to ground that out, and that, that'll kill the generator. Alright, so this is the, uh, the lead to your um, starter solenoid. This is the hot wire. You're just going to disconnect that, plug our spade into there. And then you're going to plug the stock one into here. And that's it. Um, oh, wait, no, it's not. Um, we have to uh, hook up your, uh, your linkage. All right, so this is your, uh, <laughs> what to call this. Um, this is for the choke, so this is going to... Uh, pull the, the choke closed So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna feed this through And I'll show you here on the other side What we're gonna do I'm gonna have to remove the two by four. Okay So you can see right here, this is your, your choke, and then this is the rod I just poked through. Alright, I may have to get a pair of pliers. Oh, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke this. Throw this uh, connection. I've had this set up once, so I know I can do it. It wasn't this hard. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Install the servo arm now without pulling that out. I'm going to push this all the way to the stop very carefully without wrecking the knife. Okay, and I'm going to go fully clockwise. And then 
I'm going to attach the screw. Okay. Now, we have to reposition it, we can. Um, but we'll have to uh, put power to it first before we can do it. Okay, so now, now what I'm, all I'm going to do here is just bend this over. Alright, so now the your manual choke on the front still works. <clears throat> this actually should slide. But anyway, yeah, it's still functional. Um, adjustments here this is uh, the first first time so All right now to run this like say uh, you don't want to you needed it for something else you can bypass the system that we just installed this is by design you have to plug these two plugs in together okay Now, in theory, it should run. Alright, now if I unplug, that killed it. Okay, so that's supposed to happen. Um, but the reason we're plugging this in is this um, closes the run um, relay switch. Oh boy. Crushing my wires. Don't crush your wire. <laughs> All right, looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it, plug it in. You can't mix these up because they're one goes one way and the other one goes the other. And then we have our servo wire. And then the white aligns with the, the yellow. Alright, so I'm not going to bolt this all back together yet. I don't know if, you, if you've seen here, but that mine's broken. So, got a pretty good deal on it. Couldn't pass it up. I'll fix it somehow. But uh, anyway, I'm um, just going to set this here for now. You can see it bolts on here. Everything's totally reversible. So uh, we're going to go back inside and uh, try it out. <laughs> 